What's up, gamers? Dreamcast Guy here, and today we're talking about the Fallout 4 Next Gen update because it has just been released and I'm playing it. Now, this is actually a pretty substantial patch that fixes the final bugs, it makes the game run a lot better, it has a cleaner frame rate, and it has additional quests and completely new weapons. But let's talk about it because this patch to me is something that was very badly needed. I hope you're having a great day. If you could give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let me just say right up front, this is a cool time to drop a big Fallout patch. Like a lot of you guys, I'm sure, I just watched the Fallout TV show and I completely loved it. I'm a classic Fallout fan. I played three, the originals, New Vegas, but with the release of Fallout 4 back in 2015, that's when I really became addicted to the franchise. In fact, I played Fallout 4 for three days straight till I literally fell asleep on my desk. Look how ancient this picture is. Look how skinny my freaking arms are. So with this update patch, they have rebuilt the game to run natively on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Now these games, of course, previously worked on the consoles, but they had a lot of stability issues. In fact, famously, Fallout crashed constantly on the PlayStation 5. In fact, just today, I was trying to test it out last night with a bunch of different stuff, and it was just incessantly breaking down. With this new PS5 update that you're seeing a lot of the gameplay for here, the frame rate is a lot smoother. This patch enabled a new performance mode where you could choose to have it at a higher frame rate or a higher resolution. Now, it is important to note here, this is not like a remaster, it's not a texture pack. To my eyes and with my gameplay recorded, this does seem to be the exact same game. It just actually boosts the visuals itself. So it just makes it so that it's actually higher higher resolution instead of like higher detail. To me though, I think the better frame rate looks fantastic. It, honestly, it was kind of weird how low the frame rate could get in certain areas in the original native PS4 version. On PS5, it finally looks great. Now, additionally, they've put in a series of new quests. One of the missions you can do is this weird one where you're trying to track down these people that are essentially making crazy cobbled together new tech, including a piggy bank fat boy. So it's a rocket launcher that shoots coins at about 50 billion miles an hour. This stuff is pretty cool. Now this is called the makeshift weapon pack. It's essentially stuff like a baseball launcher, a nail gun cannon. It's stuff like this that's kind of different takes on already existing weapons. They don't really work that different, but they do look different. And you know what? They're a kind of interesting change. They did also add in a bunch of new stuff where you can put up Halloween decorations in your base. I don't care about the decorations at all. To me, the best part of this completely free update is now this Enclave Remnants. There's this new quest line that's been built into the story called Echoes of the Past. Now, if you don't know anything about Fallout lore, one of the primary big bads is this group called the Enclave. And their whole gimmick is that they're trying to be like world domineering super scientists with Machiavellian 8 billion point plans. And they're still walking around somehow trying to take over what's left. Well, in this new quest line, we actually have the Enclave trying to show up in the area where Fallout 4 takes place. So it's crazy to see them in the Commonwealth. Personally, I absolutely love fighting against the Enclave. I think they're so cool. And by doing this quest line, you get new weapon skins. You actually get a completely new weapon called the Tesla Cannon, which holy heck, look at this. There's new power armor, which in my opinion looks completely awesome. This is Enclave power armor. Oh my gosh. Now, this power armor also has its own weapons like the Heavy Incinerator. This is a flame-throwing grenade launcher. To me personally, this is the best part of it. I mean, entirely, I beat this entire freaking quest line in about 20 minutes. It's not super long. It also does not have any additional voice acting. It's just pretty much text logs. We also saw this with Skyrim's anniversary update that they did a couple years back. Now, I enjoyed that anniversary update as well, but again, 
These are essentially fan mods. Something that Bethesda has been doing for the last bit is that they take fan mods, like created content, and then pay them for it and then release it as an official update. That's pretty much what these are. These are mods. They're things that just change the game slightly for the better. But I will say that as a fan of the Enclave, or I guess as a fan of killing the Enclave, these new bits of armor, this new style of weaponry, to me, this is completely freaking awesome. And again, it is entirely free. It's not like you're actually paying for this stuff. And I think it's actually pretty awesome that they're just dropping this out here. Now, they did say there's going to be additional stuff being added to the, what do they call it? The creation club. So you're probably going to see other stuff popping up. But just from initial impressions, this is exactly what I wanted it to be. I've always loved Fallout 4 since the very beginning, but I never finished off the last of the DLCs. There's stuff in here that I've never had a chance to see before, and I just never played it because the games were at times very unstable. They were so buggy, which I know is kind of the point of Bethesda games is the silly glitches, but I'll admit, after how disappointed I was with Starfield, it's nice to go back to what feels like an older, cooler Fallout. Now, I know a lot of fans of games like Fallout New Vegas just love to completely hate on Fallout 4, and I feel like this game gets a very bad reputation because it's definitely not as deep or impressive or cool as other Fallout lore. But I think if you go into this looking for a straightforward, fun RPG with cool gunplay and stuff, you will be severely pleased with it. Now, this update is free, but I have heard it's been having some glitches. If you put your physical disc into your Xbox or into your PlayStation 5, it should automatically install it. I have heard some people complaining about problems if you own it digitally. Anything that's been just kind of breaking, I'm sure is going to get fixed here in a bit. But personally, I am now going to start a new save file, get this delicious new power armor, and completely take over the wasteland. I am ready to play through every piece of DLC, every stupid freaking event, every side quest. It's time to finally get that Fallout 4 Platinum. But how do you guys feel about this update? Does it feel like enough? Personally, I do wish they added in something completely new. Uh, I really like that Skyrim Anniversary Edition added in fishing. You know, just give me that. Give me some Fallout fishing. <laughs> I'll, I'll hunt up some nuclear fish. But what do you guys think about this update? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and please keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.